Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 29th of 2021. Well, it is titled Orion Nebula, the Hubble view. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Orion Nebula and it is taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and then extra processing done on it to bring out all of the detail. Now the Orion Nebula is a nearby star forming region actually located about 1500 light years away and it's right at the edge of a molecular cloud. Now a molecular cloud is a very dark area uh, containing a lot of dust and molecules and this is at the edge where stars are currently forming. Now stars are also forming deeper within the molecular cloud. But this is the point where they've actually begun to break out and become visible. So the Orion Nebula is well known very prominent in the constellation of Orion in fact is one of the what we see as a star in the sword of Orion hanging down from Orion's belt. Now within it there are many stars forming the most prominent ones are pretty much centered here and you can see them within the white area there are four stars there within the trapezium of Orion and those are four very massive stars that give off a lot of blue and ultraviolet light and are primarily responsible for the entire region around here being visible. It is their ultraviolet light that excites all of the gases and causes them to glow. Normally you can't see gas out in space. It's just nice and clear, sort of like our atmosphere here on Earth. However, when it is excited, you can it will glow uh, such as the gas within a neon tube on uh, some kinds of lighting that you can then excite it and cause it to glow and it will give off specific colors based on what the atoms are made up of. Now it's also hard to see some of these you can see that the trapezium stars even though very bright are well hidden here and that is because there is a lot of dust still remaining around here and the dust blocks out a lot of the light and you can see the more the higher condensations of dust where the dark areas don't allow any light through so the higher the concentration of dust the more material there is and the harder it is to see through so that's why we often look at regions like this in the infrared allowing us to penetrate through the dust uh, the dust is very good at blocking out short wavelengths of light like our visible light that we're used to seeing. But the longer wavelengths of the infrared can penetrate the dust and allow us to look into star forming regions and better be able to study them. So here we see one of the sharpest images ever made of the Orion Nebula from the Hubble Space Telescope. And this is a region about 40 light years across. So if we want to try to put that into perspective for us, the nearest star is about four light years across. This is about 10 times larger than the distance between our sun and its nearest nearest stellar neighbor. So that was our picture of the day for June the 29th of 2021. It was titled Orion Nebula, the Hubble view. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be first stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.